this is Vikerman and we're back with Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And we are on the floating continent, watching the world go by beneath us. And uh, Kefka and the Emperor are here somewhere. We need to find them and stop them from doing whatever it is they're up to. So we are uh, continuing, much like we have been. Um, these guys are just as annoying as before. But that tends to work. And good old criticals. Okay, so we should be nearing the end of this, I think. Let's let's check on all this. Uh, Telus is gonna gain a level. Jones has that. Okay, we'll give you that for now. Sure, let's. Let's have him learn stop. He's just about learned most of the spells that I have available. And I think this is the way to go. Oh yes, and we have the option to go to the airship. But we're not going to do that. No delaying the inevitable, I think. Uh, we better cure a bit. Uh, no more potions. I think we'll be alright though. Okay. So what is that there? Oh, well we'll find out in a second. So... We should be done with these guys soon. I really don't like them. And I think that... We will soon be able to test out Terra's power that I have not really used up to this point because, you know, it it charges and then when you use it, it you don't have access to it for a while, but you don't have any kind of indication of this. So, all right, so this is evidently an enemy with a special thing. My name is Atma. I am pure energy. And as ancient as the cosmos, evil creatures, go! Alright, so. Atma weapon. I think that's Atma weapon is what it's called. Um, pretty powerful dude here. Let's see if we can scan him. He may be immune. But it would be nice to know what he's weak to. Uh, no weaknesses. Also no strength, so that's good. Oh my goodness. Whew. Uh, do I got anything that I can throw? Let's try the water edge. I don't know why I'm doing Bolt, just because. So let's go ahead and have her morph. Of course, she may be dead. Yep. Well, that's too bad. No, 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 no. I'm supposed to do it on Terra. You're perfectly fine. Now we'll morph. Okay, there's a good chance that'll kill him. Because he doesn't have nearly the magic. Okay. Uh, let's cure Jones. Alright, so she's morphed. And I think that doubles her magic power. And maybe attack as well. 
Anyway, it's nuts. Uh, let's do the waters. I didn't even pay attention if that was any good. Let's try ice for no reason, but... Oh yeah. Okay, that did it. So, I'm a weapon, not not too big of a threat. Especially with a Morph Terra doing massive damage. Got 10 magic points from that. No, I didn't realize that. Or I would have. I sold my skills to the Empire. I have no right to fight together with you. Oh, well. So he's left us once again. Luckily, we're cured from poison for no real reason. So, with our reduced party, we're gonna set forth and confront the Emperor at last. Hey! Listen! You betrayed us, boo! Well, well. Wahaha, then you're just in time to perish. Behold the statues. Ah! Michelangelo would be proud. What are you doing, man? Ooh, I've got goosebumps. What power? Emperor Gaston, please stop this madness. Oh! Whoa! Going to stop you. Celis, come to me, my pretty. You and Kefka were given life. Serve me. It is your birthright to rule the world with me. Kill the others and we'll overlook your treachery. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. You're the treacherous one, Kefka. Take the sword. Take care of them. Immediately. Ellis, together we can rule an entire world. Think of it! An entire world, huh? Power only breeds war. I wish I'd never been born. Ah! Take that, Kefka! That is satisfying. You son of a submariner. Ouch. Oh, she stabbed me. She stabbed me. Blood. You vicious brat. Grrr, I hate, 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 you. Goddesses, you were born only to fight. I implore you, show me your power. Oh my goodness. Seems like you don't want to stand in there. I command you, give me your power. Ah, curses. Whoa, whoa. Listen to me or you'll regret it. Give me power. Kafka, stop it! Revive those statues and you'll destroy the very world we're trying to possess. Shadap! Ah, uh, so we face at last. Kafka, are you nuts? Nuts? Emperor, don't disturb me. I'm showing them the meaning of power. I don't think so, friend. Your days are now over. Now relax, I'm simply going to put you to sleep with the very power you unleashed. Oh, 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 oh. What's so funny? Oh, 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 oh. Very well, it is only fitting that you go to sleep laughing. Fire three. Cub. Oh. 
<laughs> there. <laughs> no, why isn't my magic working? Merton. Merton? That is a weird name. Merton? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho ho. Kefka, how? How are you doing this? Ah, uh, how? Simple, I'm standing within the field of the statues. The strong field absorbs all magic sent their way. Or didn't you notice? Oh, you're an idiot. And now, statues, you've shown me a sign. It is time you show this old man your true power. No, Kafka, don't do something stupid. I command you, statues. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. Oh. You're way off. Where are you aiming? Whoa, more to the right. Yeah, run, run, run. Or you'll be well done. Oh, they got him. Yes. Kick him. Poor old, oh well, what a worthless excuse of an empire. Emperor, sorry. Oh my goodness. There'll be no one to worship us. Oh! Snap out of it, Kevka. Oh! Wait, wait. Oh, that's really smart, Kevka. Disturb their delicate balance and they'll go haywire. Oh no! Who are you? Shadow! To the rescue! No! Go! There are people counting on you! Ah, don't worry about me. Run. I can't stop this chain reaction. I'll see you again. Count on it. You can't escape me. Room. Shadow, get out of here on the devil. Alright, we got a countdown. To destruction! We gotta get out of here. Kablooey. The continent is falling apart. And you are just laughing and being weird. Mr. Pan Fairy, whatever. Okay. No experience, so. Now, I don't know, but I suspect that fire will do the trick. Mute! Kind of looks like a TV button there. So, let's see about... Since we're just getting magic points without doing too much uh, experience, we'll just try to get some stuff we don't have. You know, it's kind of like uh, Chrono Trigger and most other RPGs. If there's 
something floating above the world like this, it's gonna fall apart and come crashing down. Guaranteed in a game. Just what they do. Okay, I believe I saw... yeah, there's a treasure here. We'll want to grab that. Okay. Oh. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like we can get over there now. Whoops. Maybe I did something wrong. You'd best be frozen. Oh my goodness! Well... Oh. I was gonna say, I think the way you do get rid of that is to use a fire spell on her. Well, that is too bad. I think probably what I needed to do was come around this way, and then it probably would not have fallen. I'm not sure, though. So what's this? Narapa? Holy cow. She's giving us doom. Let's see what she's weak to. No items to steal. Let's see what she's weak to. Oh, jeesh. She's got reflect. So that means we will need to reflect off of ourselves in order to hit her. Oh, well, that works. The airship's below. Okay. So we could jump. But maybe we ought to wait. Now, here's here's where things can change in your playthrough in a pretty major way. Why don't we just wait? Because, uh... You know, Shadow promised... Yeah, we gotta wait for Shadow. He promised to meet up with us, but... You know, if he doesn't take this ride out... He's not gonna make it. So, uh... Yeah, it's probably for the best that we wait and see if he shows up. Now this is, uh... This is something that generally escapes most first-time players of this game, because you're like, oh my goodness, time to run out, let's just go. Uh, especially if maybe you struggled a little more than I did with the enemies. But, you really need to wait until the very, very end. As long as you're standing here, you'll be okay. If you're back, back a ways, then it might not be the case. But, if we wait until the very end of the timer, then our friend just might come back. Now, if we don't do this, then we're really preventing ourselves from having him ever again as a character. Which is what happened the first time I played this game, and I was very upset about it and super surprised when someone told me what was going on. Because, you know, that first time, it just says wait. It doesn't say wait for Shadow. Oh, there he is! Shadow! I'll be blown to bits before I can even collect my pay! Ha ha ha! You rogue. But, as I was saying, the first time it shows it, it doesn't say wait for Shadow, so I was like, well, I don't see any reason to wait. Can't you defuse the statues? Nah. 
seem to have missed another treasure. That's too bad. Oh my goodness. The world is being torn apart! Oh my goodness, no! Whoa! Hang on! Oh my goodness! The airship has been torn in two! Ah! Kaboom! Well, this does not seem good. Look at that, it's continents being torn apart. On that day, the world was changed forever. Seems like the world was destroyed. But we'll see. And so... Well, what, what's going on? I just hear breeze and... Oh my. Look at this apocalyptic wasteland. The seas look like they're poisoned and the ground is dry and burnt. Bare rock. No, desolate shore. The world has been taken over by seagulls, it seems. Ah, but a small, beaten down house. Who's here? Ah, is that. Yeah, it's Celis. Is she dead? Oh, and Sid, the banana man. Well, it seems that we have at least two people living. Oh, oh my goodness. Sid! Banana Man! Celis at last! Celis at last! You already said that. You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. I thought you were out for good. A whole year? You've watched over me the whole time? Now the real question is... How did he make sure that she ate for a whole year asleep? It's not like they have, like, feeding tubes and things. Yes, and I'm about out of energy. So, yeah, I don't know. We're on a tiny, deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with a few strangers. The world, so it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Where's Jones? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Since that day, the world's continued its slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. A few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom and despair. My friends, they're probably all gone. Zealous, you're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid, or should I say Grandad? May I call you that? Well, Gramps, eh? Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden I have a granddaughter. Cough, wheeze. My long lost Grandad. Haha, ha. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in three or so days ever since I became ill. What would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. 
That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. Ah, so. So here we are. It's just, uh, just balance. So we'll give her the sprint shoes, because otherwise I'm just telling you. Uh, and... Yeah, that seems reasonable. Does she have any equipment? No. How about an Esper? Uh, what do you need to know? Okay. So here we are. The post-apocalyptic wasteland. That is... This small... Little island. With nothing... At all. Ah, I was gonna say, there's not even music at this point. But it's almost a little worse now with that music, because it just sounds like... Horror and despair. Well, my friends, we've reached the end of part three of Final Fantasy VI. This begins part four. In the world after Kefka has annihilated everything. But, uh, we still hang on here on this island, Zelison said. We'll see what happens next. It's kind of an interesting development here. It's suddenly a post-apocalyptic game. But we will see what happens next in the next episode. I'll see you then.